It was recently announced that Hot Toys is releasing two new Avatar figures based on Jake and Atiri from Avatar The Way of Water. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a fantastic day and just in case you want to look at any of these figures yourself, the links will be in the description and the pinned comment below. Now as of the making of this video, there is three upcoming figures that is releasing through the year. One of them seems to be releasing more towards the end of the year. So in this video, I just want to look at the three figures in detail and discuss if it is worth the purchase. Now first up is Jake Sully. He comes in a collector's edition as well as a deluxe version. While the collector's edition is priced at $335 and the deluxe is $380. The only difference between the deluxe and the collector's version is that the deluxe version does come with a LED light up diorama inspired by the marine habitat of Pandora. This screen accurate Jake Sully collectible stands about 45 centimeters tall and like I said is based on the appearance of Jake in the way of water. As the description states, it does have a highly detailed hair sculpture with fabric hair implantation, delicate paintworks capturing facial and body patterns with luminous reflective effects, carefully designed outfit with armbands, gauntlets, all sculpted, iconic weapons and accessories such as an axe, rifle, dagger, grenade and headset. Inside the box you will find one pair of rifle holding hands, one relaxed left hand, one accessory holding right hand and each head sculpt is specifically hand painted. The weapons Jake includes is one axe, a rifle, a dagger and a grenade, whereas the accessories is one headset, two necklaces and one pair of armbands with accessory. Like I said, the deluxe version does come with the LED base which can light up using USB. The detail on Jake is quite incredible as Hot Toys usually never disappoint and although I did miss out on the Hot Toys of the original Jake figurine, I may consider picking this one up in the near future. Moving on to the Natiri figure, priced the same as the Jake figure with 335 US dollars for the collector's edition and 380 dollars for the deluxe version. Natiri stands about 44 centimeters tall and is of course also based on her appearance in Avatar The Way of Water. As with the Jake figure, this one also includes highly detailed hair sculpture and fabric hair implantation, sculpted headpiece with feathers, delicate paintworks capturing facial and body patterns with luminous reflective effects, carefully designed outfit with armbands, gauntlets all sculpted, iconic weapons and accessories such as dagger, arrow and bow. In the box you'll find one pair of relaxed hands, one pair of accessory holding hands, one pair of arrow holding hands and as for the weapons it includes one bow, two arrows and one dagger. Accessories include one headset, one necklace, a right arm band and a right knee band. And of course the deluxe edition also includes the LED base, the same as with Jake Sully. Overall between the two figures I do like the sculpt of Natiri more and I do like her outfit much more so if I had to purchase one of them I would likely go for Natiri and although the LED base does look nice I'm not entirely sure if it's worth the extra $50. However if of course you do have that kind of expendable money then I would say go for the deluxe version but that is all of course a personal choice. Then there is of course one more Natiri figure and this one I actually like the most and this is a limited edition statue going for about 310 US dollars. It is only expected to ship towards the end of the year and it is a little bit smaller than the other statues but based on the detail and the pose of Natiri, this is honestly a really awesome statue. The detail on the base is incredible from the way the water bounces off to the marine life at the bottom. And even though this is a smaller statue, it is still quite sizable. In each image it does say at the top right, prototype not final, so there may be small changes when this figure is finally released, so do keep that in mind. But honestly, if you can only buy one of the three, then I would definitely go for this one. But that is just my opinion. What do you think of these three statues? Which one would you go for? Let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.